Hiya ladies, it's Penny. I thought to come on and just show you a few bits I've been doing this week. Um, a couple of them you might have seen already on Facebook because I, I, I try and, you know, put them on Facebook as well. I did some card and napkins last week. <clears throat> this week I decided, I was at the end of last week anyway, just got something on there. Um, I've gone white. Last weekend, I've picked me up these um, cards, you know, with the cutout. So I've done something similar with blue card and uh, some uh, like wildflowers going through. But uh, I thought I'd try to have a go at the Christmas one. So as I say, it's all white. Um, I embossed a square. Um, I don't have many Christmas embossing, but this is quite sweet. Snowman next to his tree. Um, I cut out some. Uh, what was I? Uh, I cut out some snowflakes. Added a little gem. I think that's the only die cut I've got of the Christmas um, sentiment joy. So we did that, and uh, actually that's done on. Um, Pomerin and um, it's already pre glittered so so that's quite nice. It's slightly off white, but I don't mind. Um, this was a much bigger sprig of holly and berries, die cut, and I just cut it down and uh, put a tree that side. That's one of them, uh, and this was another one, very similar scene. Uh, the same snowman and these are done with those little pearl accent um, things <laughs> and this happens to be uh, white so uh, rather than stick beads down I just put those and I think they look nice so that's the white cards which I've put in here and try and keep clean it's not just pots as you, some of you might know, I do puppies for the local hospital. I think I've managed, I think I've said 85 this year. So that's not bad, is it? Um, I've shown you how I've done these before. It's basically three heart shapes sewn together. Uh, green leaves and then a little round piece of felt stuffed with a bit of stuffing, it is a tiny bit of stuffing and they show a few beads on it um, and a pin at the back of course so that they can pin it to themselves. I'm running out of the dark green so I ended up having to use a different green but it doesn't matter. A new designer did this this time, um, it takes a bit longer but uh, it's got five petals on this one just look better with the five um, I just sewed um, red beads all around the outside and then more or less the same type of thing so that's slightly different if anyone wants um, a bit of a different one as long as it gets a little bit of money to the um, the, the puppy appeal uh, you know, I don't mind doing them. So they're going to the local hospital and they'll have to go this month when the appointment is the end of this month. Um, yes. And then uh, I know they'll have them in time. Right. Mistakes. Mistakes time. As you know, I like a little bit of playing with my parchment and um, things like that. The well, first one I did, this was proper parchment paper. Um, I actually brought some round to show you but it's not see-through, it's proper parchment paper but I thought I thought the light might come through with enough holes etc. So I did this one uh, and it takes quite a while to do as you can imagine and then painted the, the wings of the dragonfly. The pattern is from a book. Um, but I didn't have the pattern for, for this, so I had to make me own up with, you know, the uh, patterns I've got rather than what they said I should do. 
So we tried it on the lung, but um, well, I say a lung, they fit better like on a brandy glass. And as I don't drink much these days, they come in good use. But it, you could see it, but it wasn't well lit up as much as I'd like. So I did try um, proper vellum, which I used like when I do cards and that. But it must have been too thin, it keeps curling up. And I put diamantes on that and did like a snowflake design. But not happy with it, too thin. And. No, not happy. So, but we live and learn, don't we? So, this one was a better quality vellum, a slightly heavier weight, and this one works perfectly. So, try, try, try again, and you do succeed. I don't think you'll be able to see. Uh, am I in the right position? I don't think, but I just, I wouldn't use a real, um, Candle naturally because it's paper, but it looks it looks nice at night. You can see through it and that. So it's just a little bit of fun, just a bit of fun. So that, that's what I'll leave. I'll turn that off. Save the battery. So that was that. And while we were looking at Christmas things, I found some old cards. <laughs> And I didn't want to use them on this year's card, so I was nearly going to bin them or take off all the good card that I wanted to use. And then, um, naturally on Pinterest, you see another little project you could do. So this is it. I've just cut out cards. And actually this, you know, it's two for each little panel, because you've got the back and the front. Um, oh, I don't know that design, I call it the 50 pence piece, I don't know what you want to call it, Hex, Hexaton, Hex, Hex, no, you're going to embarrass me now, I can't say it, <laughs> there, so you want, um, how many sides you've got, you want as many uh, petals type of thing that you've got, um, and then you have to punch holes all the way around, like that, and then you have to sew them all together with like a blanket stitch uh, and then round the bottom as well. So that's my first attempt. And then they're quite fun and handy if you're going to have, you know, just for your sweeties or crisps or something. They'll uh, sit on your coffee table and they're a bit different. So that, that project, in my Etsy shop, I've added a couple of these, so you might have seen them on Facebook, some, some of you ladies. But I thought I'd give them a whirl here as well. Um, it's a little twig type wreath that I've just um, brushed over, dry brush white on it. Uh, I made my own little flowers from Fomarin. I do like doing these. It's quite thin foam in this, so I had to be very careful as I was messing with it. A couple of them are more like the Christmas rose, so I put um, a little diamante, uh, and some of them have got the, uh, the white stamens in. A um, little bit of hanging iridescent jewels there. I battered two eye up here, aren't I? Uh, iridescent jewels. And then I added some white feathers uh, here, and a couple of white berries, and even a couple of shells which I've um, put iridescent on, and uh, that one I've just left plain because it's a lovely colour as it is, so I didn't touch that one. Uh, another foam around leaf, and a couple of pearls, but not too many. A little bow I've made, a double a double bow and uh, a little gem in the middle of pearls. So either for a small space like your caravan, holiday home, little bedroom, anywhere, or just as a, an extra addition to your decor, I think it's quite sweet. Or as I say, into your caravan or motorhome or anything like that. So. That 
that's in the Etsy shop. Um, believe me, it's not expensive at all. At all, at all. So, uh, that's that one. I've also added, there's already a few in there, but um, I do enjoy doing these. And they were very popular last year. These um, uh, angel wings. To go on the tree, to go in front of a mirror. I say in front of a mirror or something because I've decorated both sides very prettily. And um, <laughs> pebbles on that side and lovely gems and uh, faux gems here. And I think it looks very pretty. It's a proper silk hanger. And on the back, I dyed some of the leaves pink and added some white trim a beautiful butterfly who's got a diamante in the middle and some beautiful pink um, tassel so that's in the Etsy shop as well if anybody wants to get in touch with me and negotiate a price or anything or you know wants a particular colour or something I will gladly um, speak to them and uh, try and help them out um, this one's more white it's, the back I've done mainly with the leaves to the shape of wings with some nice dangles uh, the front lots of beautiful soft white feathers and um, a little bit extra I think uh, diamantes but it looks nice pretty so that that's hanging up. I think they also make nice remembrance tokens. Maybe somebody to remember who's already gained their angel wings. So it's a nice way of remembering people that way as well. So they do look nice in the breeze when all the feathers go. <laughs> so that's that one. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm bubbling on. Um, have I got time? Yes, I have. Um, last, ta last time I was on, I thought somebody just come to the window there. Let me just have a sip of my drink, ladies. I'm, I'm parched. Oh, that's nice. It's quite nice today. I've got the back door open. The sun is shining. It's a little bit chillier than it was a few weeks back, but uh, it's fine. Now, I did show this. Um, it's a, it was very cheap. I think it was only a pound, this little house. Didn't have a light in it or anything. Um, I thought, well, I'll just practice on this. Um, gessoed it, painted it, did put glitter, but then I didn't like the way the glitter was so loose on it, so I put um, a varnish. In fact, there was a glitter varnish over the top, so it's got that extra sparkle. This I've just done with, like, filler. Um, I was downstairs so I didn't get my um, proper stuff, uh, modelling paste, but I think this worked just as well. The chimney is just a block of wood and I built up the filler to make uh, the chimney pot and stuck cardboard around it so it would sit on the, on the roof. Uh, and then there's a final thing, well, final, I cut a Julie from Julie Olivia Crafts. Julie, <laughs> our Julie. She said it would be nice if um, a, lamp, a light in it, and it would be. So what I've done is I cut a hole in the bottom and stuck a, a little um, tea light, electric tea light in, battery tea light, and now it's got a little light in it and we've had it going and it's quite sweet you can see through the window the little light going so um, that's for granddaughter when she comes this week uh, put it on my on windowsill i've started a, i'm just having another sip of tea there i've started another one upstairs slightly bigger and it did come with a, a light the Santa Claus up top is just a die cut which I did on card and I also did on 
glittery foamer in. So there's like a little bit of a sparkle to him. And uh, so I just double stuck him together. And there he is flying across uh, the roof. So I think they're nice as well as little gifts or ornaments for people. So that's what I've been up to. You see in front of me, yes I can still chatter. Uh, grandson come yesterday, bless him. I was um, a bit under the weather yesterday. I, I think I just had a flare up and the temperature went up. And um, could I find my thermometer? Oh, that's, oh, that's me, just, sorry, that's me washing my shoe. No, oh, no, let's hang it up. Oh, it's gone down now. It must be um, wonky. So he sped to the, um, I wish he wouldn't speed though. He's on his little motorbike. Um, my baby Adam on the motorbike. <laughs> uh, but he went and got me a thermometer. And now I've got about three or four in the home. But I don't know where they are. But I know where one of them is anyway. So <laughs> anyway, temperature came down with face cloths and fan on and paracetamol. And so I'm a bit better today, thank you. And... Uh, and I say, I don't, I'm not sure if you actually saw this on the kitchen table because he laughs at the things I try and decorate and he'd laugh at this one because it's a, a light bulb so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it but it could involve mandala you know, uh, spotty designs so that's another quest I'm going after and um, and I do thank you all, and I notice I have got some new subbies, and I thank you very much for joining my little crafty station, and um, and I hope to come back again soon. And uh, thank you again for watching and any comments. But say, if you want anything or need me, um, you know, do get in touch. I have a personal message, uh, email, any way you want. Okay, love. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.